Bon dia! <laughs> I'm very excited as this is my first time birding in Europe and my first time being here as well. Um, I am in central Portugal at the moment and I'm just outside this small little village in uh, the Anciao countryside. We're going to be heading into the town here and then we're going to do some trails that's in the surrounding area around kind of this little, little village. Now this area consists of, I think it's Portuguese oak forests and um, a lot of olive trees as well. I think we're in spring now, entering into the summers and uh, so everything is very green and lush. There's a lot of little houses. Everything looks very beautiful. Some oranges and orange trees there. I can hear a lot of bird sounds. I saw a house sparrow earlier and its size was just almost like it's bigger than what it looks like in, in Africa. Well, I, th I think the house sparrow is from Europe and these kind of places. I'm just uh, below this little church. Very cute. There's a little bell up there with a little chain hanging up. A little chain hanging down there. Kind of just want to pull it and see what happens, but I don't think anyone would like that very much. Wow, look at this. This is beautiful tile work on the back of this little church. Very nice. Little broken house there. Or a bougainvillea or whatever plant that is growing onto the side of this house. Very cute. I can see on the wire there some swallows. So I'm gonna get my banners out and let's see what we can find in this little town. I guess you see these guys everywhere. The barn swallows. These guys have a massive range and but it's quite nice to see them here in, in Europe. Coming from Africa now to utilize the northern summers for breeding, the red rump swallows. They are very actively seen foraging for insects. I still do not understand why they call this beautiful bird a goldfinch, but I do love their colors. The collared dove. They are often seen close to human habitats where they feed. They are a gregarious species and can be usually seen in large flocks, especially on the farmlands. So we're going to be taking a little right here and then walking into the countryside. Beautiful little farm area I'm walking through here. Here's a cute little doggy. Botard. Here we can see some of these uh, beautiful scarpies or sheeps. And a lot of olive trees. It's a very nice thing here in uh, Portugal that I've experienced is nice olives. And as you're just walking here in the countryside, you can hear all the bird sounds all over the place. It's so peaceful. You can see a beautiful little field, some trees, or fence. To my left side here, nice little old stone wall, just highlighting a little pathway as you uh, enjoy a little walk. It's just incredible. But I'm just heading into this little forest patch here. And then we're gonna check for some for some birds. 
Now the bird that I really want to see is a black cap and uh, I'll be looking out for that one um, especially in this bushy habitat the blue tit I can't believe how striking this little blue tit is the springtime now I think there's a lot of caterpillars available and you can see by the big caterpillar in his mouth that's what they're after and that's what they enjoy feeding on I heard this little bird before I saw him very vocal the wren a small bird that mainly feeds on insects the range is fairly large spreading from Europe all the way to Asia I've been wanting to see this guy since I started doing research of birds found in Europe a while back. The European Robin. The European Robin is a territorial singer with a beautiful orange breast and you can hear him sing all throughout the day. So on my left here we can see a little olive, olive grove I would call it. You can see the the floor here is covered with beautiful white flowers and pink flowers and yellow flowers. Let's see this nice one. Anyway, it's just nice to see all these little kind of olive groves. So many of them around here. Alexander, it's a little plant, I think it's one of the ones that I know. So I've taken just a random right turn, I'm kind of walking on an old um, road. It's overgrown with a bit of grass now, but it's also got one of these old walls next to it. I'm hoping this one leads me to a another little village. So the lesson here today is um, I think it's better to stay on track so I've made it into a clearing here and there's a little man-made structure in front of me here let me just tie my shoe hopefully this leads me to a road that leads to another small village of some sort that's actually what I'm looking for but I decided to walk some kind of adventurous trail um, Look at this. I think I've seen a lot of like shells lying around, not egg shells or anything like it's almost like gun shells. And uh, here's like a little structure been made up in this tree here. And I think these are used by the people that hunt some of the boars or animals in this area. Kind of interesting. rest here and uh, just enjoy the view just imagine this thing breaking now exactly fuck yeah sorry for my language but that's what happens I knew that was going to happen. Sorry structure. I'm 
just about to enter this little village. I'm still walking on this little road that I found from the little hunting hide. Um, but yeah, walking here is really fun. You see a lot of things. You know, the environment also just changes the whole time, everywhere you go. There's someone's nice little patch of vegetables. Time for some potatoes. Everyone loves potatoes. So I think I've made it to the village. Sign of civilization. Sorry for my breathing. It's quite hot. Don't know what I'm taking. Put that. It's crazy beautiful. All these old buildings. Falling through. The Seren. The Seren is very closely related to a canary, and hearing their song, I strongly believe that such a melodious song made by such a striking yellow bird, the greenfinch, and seeing by the size of its bill, this is a little seed eater. They can commonly be found around fields and in grassy areas. Beautiful oak up there. I love these oak trees. So the town I just went through is Al Quidao. <laughs> 